Sacroiliac ligament sprain is one of the most common spinal injuries. Most healthcare providers are not trained to properly diagnose, treat, and manage a sacroiliac sprain. Your doctor may not tell you that many common body positions such as lying face down will aggravate your sacroiliac joint. That groin pain is a classic symptom of sacroiliac sprain. That blood sugar stress directly affects sacroiliac joint stability. A sacroiliac ligament sprain is one of the most commonly misdiagnosed, mistreated, and mismanaged spinal injuries. The sacroiliac joint is the primary weight-bearing joint in the body. 90% of your weight is carried here, where the weight is transferred from the legs to the body. This is the core of your core. Ligaments hold this joint together, not muscles. An exercise will aggravate a sprained sacroiliac joint. A sacroiliac injury is a ligament sprain that destabilizes the whole core, including the lumbar spine. The sacroiliac joint has the most pain sensors and nerve endings of any joint in the body and can be extremely painful. Signs and symptoms of a sacroiliac sprain include pain in the very low back, worse standing and as the day progresses. Groin pain on one or both sides. Pain with any body movement, which can be severe. Dizziness and or lightheadedness because of the blood sugar weight bearing connection. Morning blood sugar regulation is very important for sacroiliac joint stability. Blood sugar and sacroiliac joint stability go hand in hand. After fasting all night, it is essential to eat 3 ounces of protein within 45 minutes of waking to keep stress hormones cortisol and adrenaline low and prevent spasms in the sacroiliac joint and low back. It is very important for the patient to be aware of many common body positions that compress and inflame the sacroiliac joint. The sacroiliac joint has the least amount of pressure on it when lying on your back with the legs together. This will also likely be the most comfortable position for an inflamed sacroiliac joint. The yoga lotus position and hip openers compress and inflame the SI joint by pushing the SI joint together. Yoga hip openers lying face down are the most inflammatory position for a sprained SI joint because you have legs spreading that compresses the SI joint plus body weight compressing the SI joint further. I don't recommend doing frog yoga position because the SI joint is always under some stress from gravity already. Advanced care for the sacroiliac joint sprains includes removing spasms in the core ligaments and muscles aligning the pelvis with specialized wedges, a sacroiliac support belt, blood sugar stabilization and management, which means eating three ounces of protein within 45 minutes of waking every day, acupressure for sacroiliac support organs, vitamin C supplementation, which is the key nutrient for ligaments and soft tissue healing, and patient education about avoiding positions that inflame the sacroiliac joint and complicate the healing process. A sacroiliac sprain is commonly misdiagnosed for a lumbar spine problem, resulting in improper diagnosis and poor patient results. The most common symptom of a sacroiliac sprain is pain in the groin and low back that gets worse as the day goes on. Exercise will aggravate a sacroiliac ligament sprain because it is a ligament sprain, not a muscular problem. Care for an SI sprain should include spinal and pelvic alignments with the pelvic wedges, soft tissue balancing, and the use of a sacroiliac support belt to restore core stability. Patient education about avoiding body positions that aggravate the sacroiliac joint and blood sugar regulation are also part of a comprehensive sacroiliac healing plan.